Hey everybody, it's Anthony Morrison, and I am so excited to have you guys here uh, on another Thursday night training. It's going to be a lot of fun, and I've actually got a surprise for you. You know, most of the time, I, I you know I tell you the previous week when I'm going to bring on a special guest, and uh, you know you all know last week um, I brought Adrian on, and he did some really great Facebook training for us. He went through uh, really how to build your mobile, I guess your email list using mobile traffic from Facebook. And so a lot of you are using my mobile opt-in software, a lot of you are building your list, a lot of you are looking for ways to generate more traffic. So what I did after last week, you know, I went out and, and I started asking some of my friends, and I've got some, some obviously some really good friends in this industry, uh, guys that are just doing incredible things, and you know, I've always told you that I, I know I'm not the best at everything. There are some things that I'm great at, and I, I love to share them with you. I love to teach you those things, and I love to really give you that, you know, empower you, right? And give you the wisdom and capability to do, you know, to do the same thing. But then there's things that, hey, I'm not that great at, right? And and so with our time on Thursday nights and our trainings, I always try to find if, if there's something I feel you can benefit from, and I'm not the best at it, right? Um, I like to try to find somebody that is the best and then bring them on to share their knowledge with you. And so I started looking around this week and, uh, and talking to some of my buddies and I wanted to find the best of the best when it comes to generating traffic. And so one of my good friends introduced me to Fred Lamb. Now Fred is on with us tonight and I have, I basically begged Fred to come on here and do a two-part training series for you all on getting traffic. How many of you are excited about that? Just put yes in the chat box for me. If you're excited about two straight weeks of traffic training from someone who I think is going to blow your mind. When you see some of the statistics I've seen, some of the uh, literally millions of dollars in sales that he has generated, just from traffic, traffic from Facebook and traffic from Google, it's going to blow your mind. How many of you are excited about that? Just say yes in the chat box for me. Very good, very good. So I'm seeing a lot of people. Very good, very good. Well, you know, we try to make these the most productive sessions possible. We're going to take your time uh, out of your busy schedule, time out of your night, uh, and, and request that you be here. We try to make sure it's well worth your time. So I am thrilled about this training. In fact, I myself have, uh, you know, at this week have reached out to Fred and said, hey, look, Fred, I need some help. There's some things I could use a little help on uh, when it comes to generating traffic to some of my, you know, to some of my products. And Fred's going to be working with me. So I am excited to not only be a uh, student of Fred's, but also to be able to bring him on here and, and have him share his information with you. So tonight's session is all about Facebook. So grab a pen, grab a piece of paper, shut everybody up around you, turn off your cell phones, turn off your televisions, tune in and pay close attention because I guarantee you what you're about to hear tonight, what you're about to see tonight, the training, the information, and the knowledge you're about to learn tonight is something that you will never, ever see again. So with that said, I'm going to turn it over to you, Fred, and I'm going to let you get started, man. I'm excited, and I think everybody else here is excited, too. Hey, guys. Well, I'm very excited to be here. And first of all, I would like to really thank Anthony for giving me this um, opportunity to be showing you guys what I've been doing for the past 10 years. And as a matter of fact, these two-part workshop is going to be completely blowing your minds away because what I'm about to show you guys we're not just talking, we can actually talk about really small numbers and also how to scale to a massive number at the same time. Now, Anthony specifically got me involved right now to really do a big presentation, you guys, about Facebook. So we're going to go ahead and talk about how to get a massive targeted, I should say ultra targeted traffic to your website. And you only just need to start with just $20. Now, guys, again, please shut down everything. Be prepared to take notes because I'm going to be going through these pretty fast. I have actually a lot of slides for you guys, and there's going to be some walkthroughs that you're going to watch over my shoulder on how I do some of my campaigns. And again, thank you, Anthony, for having me here. And um, it's such an honor of mine, and I'm very excited. So let's not wait any longer. Let's get started. Then we'll talk about, then you guys can ask me questions afterward. 
So what you'll learn today in this live training will be how to get access into 1.49 billion ultra-targeted consumers for pennies on the dollar. As a matter of fact, guys, you can actually start with just $20 a day or even just $5 a day, and I'll be showing you step-by-step step on how to do so in this live training. Now, next, you'll learn the three brutal mistakes that you must avoid at all costs, especially if you're new to advertising on Facebook. So guys, when I am at that slide, please be sure to take notes because this will save you a lot of money and this will really turn your campaign around once you know what they are. Now you'll also show, be showing how to master this $20 billion advertising technology and really let the technology drive your traffic. Now guys, Facebook literally spent over $20 billion just to enhance their advertising technology so you can take advantage as an advertiser to really maximize every single click that's going to your website or landing page. I'll be also showing you free tools, how to build your ads and a laser targeted audience to show your ads to, all in just a few clicks. Lastly, I'll be showing you how to be scaling on steroids. You can actually go as broad as you want outside of your market and niche and still be profitable. There's one specific tip that I can give you at the end of this live training that's gonna change your advertising campaign around. You can actually start scaling your Facebook campaign, but at the same time, you have a buffer to make sure that these are gonna be profitable clicks even if it is outside your uh, market reach. And I'll be showing you guys all these in today's live training. So what is this ultra-targeted traffic source? And I think you guys don't have to guess, you guys all know what this is about, is Facebook ads. Facebook ads is extremely efficient and is extremely effective. It's very important for every single advertisers to really take full advantage on advertising on Facebook. And it's very important for you to know how to do it exactly at the same time because it can either cost you a lot of money or make you a lot of money at the same time. Now you might be thinking, can I really start advertising on Facebook with just $20? Well, absolutely. You can actually start with just $5. You don't even have to spend $20. $5 a day will already allow you to start bringing traffic and start building your email list and start get generating leads, all right? Here's a screenshot. This is a very small budget that I've done. It's just some testing that I've been doing recently. And guys, this is a small budget and I get immediate results. Look at the one that I highlighted right now. I paid 48 cents and I got three email conversions. I have three people opting into my list. At the same time, these are laser targeted and ultra targeted audience because I specifically tailored my ads to the audience that I want to reach. Now on average, I'm paying less than $2 per email subscriber right now. In some cases, I'm paying just $1.11. And again, you can look at the amount. I only spent like 20-ish dollar and that's all I've spent. You don't really have to spend a massive amount of money in order for you to really create a successful campaign within Facebook. Now for some advanced advertisers right here, you might be asking, well, is Facebook ad really scalable? Is it gonna really help me um, expand to a $20,000 campaign, even a $100,000 campaign, or even a $200,000 campaign? Well, guys, this is a screenshot straight from Facebook with one of my business. Here I've generated, I think, I didn't really calculate, but this is nearly over half a million dollar in sales. And these are all revenue from one of my businesses. I have several businesses that I run and they're all based on traffic. And um, a lot of the traffic is actually coming from Facebook. So for those of you who are wondering, is this a scalable traffic? Absolutely. Now, for those of you, I'm, well, I can't say for those of you, I'm pretty sure a lot of you don't know me. So I wanna share some not so interesting story about me. So guys, I'm just a typical Asian kid in my mid 20s right now who hasn't even set foot in college. I don't think I'm as smart as any of you guys right now, but I'm able to do all these all thanks to traffic generation. Now I'm really embarrassed to say this, but I usually like to bring it out to let people know. 
I barely passed grade 12, guys. I remember I think I got 51%. I, didn't, I barely passed. But I want to tell you guys this is because at the end of the day, guys, what you're learning is acquiring a specific skill set that you are not able to learn during school. School is not going to teach you how to drive traffic to your website. All these are really based on experience. As a matter of fact, guys, my first job is actually a dishwasher. I think all of you are not going to be starting your job as a dishwasher, but I actually started my first job as a dishwasher, the really lowest um, entry level job ever. Now, I've started my online career 10 years ago while I was washing disgusting dishes and even throwing away diapers. Yeah, I had a really ugly incident where the customers are actually throwing their baby diaper into the, um, into the tray and I have to throw them out. But while I was washing dishes, that's how I started my online career. Then I turned myself from a dishwasher to now own a multiple multi-million dollar corporation. Now, how am I able to do this? It is all from traffic generation. Through my 10 years of experience, I've acquired a specific skill set that a lot of people in the industry actually don't really know of, which, or I can say they know of, but they can't really master it because there's so much stuff involved. And through my 10 years, I was able to become one of the, um, I'm not saying I'm a guru, but I'm a very experienced um, personnel on traffic generation. So I built all my business right now all based on cold traffic. Um, that's how I am able to scale from a company that's making maybe a couple thousand dollars a month to a multi-million dollar corporation, all because of traffic generation. Now guys, traffic is not rocket science. It's super simple and anyone can do it. I didn't even set foot in college. My first job was a dishwasher. I never got a boot call a job um, when I start touching internet marketing and when I start learning how to generate traffic. So guys, again, it's super simple. However, you need to have a system. You need to learn your way and you have to really have guidance, which Anthony is able to bring me on board right now to teach you guys how I'm able to do this so it's easier for you guys. So don't go thinking traffic is super super hard it's the hardest thing in the world um it is one of the most important thing for any online businesses but again it's super simple guys and i'm going to walk you through how to do this especially on facebook today um on how you can start scaling your campaign and start generating a massive email database now there are some myths about facebook ads <clears throat> a lot of people think facebook ads don't work there's too many advertisers. That is absolutely false. You have over 1.49 billion users on a monthly basis that you can advertise to. There's no way there's too many advertisers. At the end of the day, the more advertisers there are, the better. That means that the market is hungry and they want to give you their money, they want to give you their email address. So don't think that there's too many advertisers on Facebook and <clears throat> you're not gonna be you don't want to advertise onto it. So it's extremely false. Please change your mindset on that. Next, it's getting too expensive. This is only true if you do not know what you're doing. Back, let's say five, six years ago, yes, Facebook is a lot cheaper than present right now. However, if you know what you're doing, it's actually cheaper than what it is before. All right, so don't start thinking it's super expensive. You have to spend a lot of money with it in order to make it work. That is absolutely false. Now, some people might be thinking it's too hard to advertise on Facebook and make it profitable. That is totally false. Remember in the start of my presentation, guys, I'm able to generate leads for 16 cent or even a buck. There's no way you can't make a profitable campaign out of Facebook. And as a matter of fact, you're getting ultra targeted traffic to your website if you know what you're doing. Again, that's very important. Now, all you really need is one specific strategy for a highly profitable campaign on Facebook. And you might be wondering, what is this amazing strategy that you can create a highly profitable campaign on Facebook? It's stock them. You have to know and understand your audience and you have to know how to stalk them. 
I'll explain more in just a bit, and I'll actually have more of a step-by-step -step on what I meant by stalking them. So guys, if you are able by the end of this training to be able to understand more of how Facebook works and how you can stalk your audience to create a custom message for them, you will easily have a highly profitable advertising campaign. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and go into the part one of my um, presentation for you guys. Part one is how to cash in on Facebook's $19 billion investment. You might be thinking, whoa, what, what am I talking about? I'll explain in just a minute. Now, why advertise on Facebook? Again, guys, they have access to over 1.49 billion active users. There's no other place other than Google that you can get such a high amount of traffic in a given month. Now, you also get unlimited traffic through Facebook. It's impossible to buy it all. If you buy it all, I don't think even any Fortune 100 companies can buy all of Facebook traffic. That's, that's near impossible, unless if they're spending like billions of dollars a day, which obviously that's not gonna happen. Now, number three is you can actually start as slow as just $5 a day. You don't have to be spending a lot of money on Facebook to get started. You can just spend $5 and just play around with it to get your feet wet and to understand how Facebook advertising work. Now, you'll also get instant results. Now, I purposely put a star right beside it. It's because you will get instant results, again, only if you know what you're doing. If you don't know what you're doing, you're gonna lose a lot of money, and I can guarantee you that. Now, number five, quality. You're gonna get a high quality leads and customers through Facebook advertising. The reason why is because of their targeting, all right? At the end of the day, Facebook has very high quality leads and customers. A lot of my customers are actually repeat buyers right now, all from Facebook right now. Now, most importantly, why I advertise on Facebook is their precise targeting. This is something that Google can't even do. Google and Facebook has been battling their butts off right now to really secure as much advertisers as possible and as much big advertisers as possible. But at the end of the day, Facebook has precise targeting, which Google does not. That's how Facebook is so powerful right now and why you should be advertising on Facebook. Now, do you know why Facebook spent $19 billion to buy WhatsApp and they spent over a billion dollars to buy Instagram? If you are a WhatsApp user or a Instagram user, guys, they don't make any money from their advertising. Absolutely none. But the reason why they spent $20 billion just to acquire these two, um, two apps is because they want to enhance their precise targeting. Now, when you do precise targeting, what how they enhance the precise targeting is that they're not just depending their data on Facebook. So they're not depending on what you comment on Facebook, what you share on Facebook, what you like on Facebook, etc. Uh, or, or, and also what your behavior in Facebook is. They also basically go through your text, they go through your photos and Instagram, they combine all their, um, the, all their stuff that they, that they purchase, all their data mining pools into one place, which is Facebook ads and advertisers can take, uh, take advantage of. At the end of the day, what Facebook want to do is keep enhancing their precise targeting. They know that if, their advertisers are able to target their audience as precisely as possible, as narrow as possible, the advertisers are gonna get an immediate ROI and they're gonna just spend more money on Facebook. So Facebook just keep acquiring other information gathering apps and companies to enhance their advertising campaign and to enhance their data pool so advertisers like you can take advantage of. Now. The precise targeting features that Facebook currently have that you can take advantage of, they have over 16 types of targeting options. Number one, they have demographic. Obviously, you can go after age, you can go after um, gender, you can go after a lot of stuff in the demographic alone. Next, education level. They can actually find out what education level you are and you can take advantage of this because if you're selling something 
extremely expensive. Obviously, people that doesn't have a um, a high education level, they're not going to be really making that much money to really purchase it in the in the um, in the economy world right now. Third, where they work and what position. You can actually target exactly where they work and what their position are. This is amazing for B2B business, actually. If you have a B2B business and you want to target specifically to the position that does all the purchasing, you can actually do this through Facebook. Now, number four, you can even target if they're a parent or not. If you have a, um, a offer that's about parenting or whatsoever, this is the best place to advertise your um, offers to um, on Facebook because you can really target if they're a parent or not. Now, you can also target exactly what they like, what their interests are, and much more. There's so much to Facebook's precise targeting feature that there's no way you cannot find your targeted audience. You may not be able to find it on Google. However, you will definitely find them in Facebook. Now, next is the refined campaign objectives. There are right now 10 specific objectives for your campaign that you can choose. What Facebook does is that they have a very complex um, technology in place to really help you with your objective. So another word for objective is your goal. What is your end goal for your ads? They're gonna actually optimize your ads based on your objectives. Now, I know a lot of you guys are trying to either build an email list or trying to ask for a sale. So the best objective to use is always increase conversions on your website or send people to your website. So clicks to website. These are the two objectives that you should be using. Anything else, please stay away from it unless if you own a mobile app or unless if you um, have a local business and that's a different story. But overall, guys, increased conversions on your website is what majority of my campaigns are based on. I do use um, clicks to webs to test things here and there and troubleshoot if my campaigns are not getting any impressions, but these are the two that you should be using all the time, especially increased conversions on your website. Now, Facebook is changing the game, guys. With the precise targeting and the awesome power of specific campaign objectives and the ability that I'm actually gonna show you to stock your audience, you will have a highly profitable campaign at almost zero risk, guys. At the end of the day, if you are able to stock your audience, know exactly what they like, what they don't like, who they are, and let Facebook do all the optimization for you, there's no, and again, with a precise targeting in place to really target exactly who they are, there's zero risk involved. There's, there's no way you can make a profitable campaign unless if you have a really bad sales funnel, that's a different story. But again, at the end of the day, guys, if because Facebook has all these three elements in place, it's easy to create a highly profitable campaign through Facebook. Now, in just a few moments, I'll make you into an expert on Facebook advertising, and I'll walk you through step by step on how to set up the campaign, what you should be aware of, and how to stalk your audience. Now guys, here are some results from my Facebook advertising campaigns. So Facebook has been one of my major um, traffic sources to build some of my businesses. This is a business, it did over $8.7 million. Another business, $5.2 million. I've processed over $5.6 million for another company. And I, on average, I deposit $8,000 back into my PayPal account. Now, I know that there are some sev um, there are some affiliate marketers here. Guys, I even use Facebook to generate traffic to my affiliate offers. And here is a screenshot of a really small campaign that I did, and it still generated close to $50,000. Now, guys, if you are not advertising on Facebook, it's very important that you should because it will give you amazing results. Now you have the basic understanding of why Facebook ads are so powerful, it's time to go even deeper. In part two, guys, I'm gonna be talking about the three brutal mistakes you must avoid at all costs on Facebook. This is very important. Be prepared to take notes, guys. First, the suspension black hole. Guys, 
account suspension is basically superbly common on Facebook nowadays, and it's very hard for you to get reinstated. You guys have to make sure you pay attention on what I'm about to say because once your account got suspended, guys, it's gonna take you months or even years to actually get your account reinstated, especially right now when they are focusing more manpower on Fortune 500 companies and for super large advertisers. They're not even gonna waste a lot of time on small advertisers, especially ones that they feel is scammy and they feel that um, that they're not even compliant at all. At the end of the day, there is actually specific things that you need to have in place to avoid account suspension. And I'll be talking about this just in just a moment. Now, Facebook right now is one of the most compliant driven advertising network. I can tell you sometimes Facebook is more strict than Google. So you guys have to be really careful and really be compliant with them before you set up an account and advertise um, on Facebook or else, guys, if you lost an account with Facebook, it's gonna be a nightmare. Now, I just wanna do my due diligence to let you guys know, and I know that a lot of you guys won't be doing this, is guys, do not even attempt to do any black hat. Please do not. Facebook is extremely smart. They they will know if you're doing any black hat. I know people that are doing like um, um, page clicking and like all those other stuff, they get banned like immediately. And they even ban them to an extent where they can't even log in to the personal Facebook account. So guys, very important, do not attempt to do any black hat. Now there are two main reasons why you might get suspended. Number one, your website structure. If you don't have a website structure, it, you will get suspended. It makes a big difference. Now, what I really mean by website structure is you need to have a full website in place. You need to have an about section. You need to have your um, legal pages like your privacy policy, terms of use, um, um, your DMCA notice, etc. You also need to have your refund policy. You need to have a contact page so people can actually contact you and best this is optional, but I always encourage you to have this, have an article section or blog section. At the end of the day, Facebook don't know who you are. The only way that they know who you are to see that you are a legitimate advertiser and that you're trying to be compliant with them, they go to your website. They go to whatever, whatever landing page you use, they don't care. They just go to your website to see who you are and check you out. And if they see that it is a website that is not structured properly, and you basically have any um, at disapprove, they're gonna ban your account right away. But if you actually have a full website structure in place, and when Facebook look at you, the, although your ad and landing page may not be compliant, they will only disapprove your ad and let you know what you need to change in order to get it approved, other than just account suspension. So you guys have to make sure you have a full website in place before you advertise on Facebook. Next is using unsubstantial claims. What I classify these as hard claims. This is superbly important. You can't go out and tell people, especially on Facebook ads, um, you can't say, make $1,000 in three days. That is absolutely cannot do. You have to say things like, make up to $1,000 by doing this. That's a different story. That's a suggestive claims. You're not directly saying you're gonna make $1,000 you'll make up to $1,000 by doing this. That is a total different story because now you're not promising um, the person a specific claim. You have to keep in mind one thing. If your offer is not typical, what it means is that if, not, if every single person is not able to have what they get from buying your product or service, if even one or two people doesn't get the same result, then that is a hard claim. So you have to make suggestive claim. Now you can make hard claims sometimes unless if you have document backing up what you're saying. So let's say for the for um, let's say weight loss, right? Lose 10 pounds in um, in three days by eating this pill or whatever. If you have a clinical study done or a university done on your pill that it says that it, you can lose 10 pounds, then you can use the claim. So it's very important that you guys really look through your landing page and your ad to see if there are unsubstantial claims. Now, there are three specific mistakes that a lot of advertisers make when they advertise on Facebook. 
So the first brutal mistake is the light campaign. Guys, do not run light campaigns. I've been telling a lot of people, anyone that I know, all my students, I keep telling them, do not run a light campaign. And they go back, well, why should I not run a light campaign? A lot of people um, are telling me to run a light campaign. I could build a lot of fans for like a couple cents a fan. That is true. But guys, you will get organic likes on your Facebook page when you advertise on Facebook with website conversions and clicks to website. As a matter of fact, these likes are going to be more quality, a lot more quality because they have to either click on your ad see what it is about, then go back to Facebook, go to your page and like your page. If a person did all those steps, guys, at the end of the day, they are people that are gonna be your loyal fans. So you're really killing two birds with one stone. You don't need to start spending money on like campaigns. Why waste your money on that, right? At the end of the day, you don't want to spend money that's not going to get an immediate ROI. You want to let the campaign run and make an immediate ROI and also get likes to your Facebook page. So please don't waste money on like campaigns. Now, brutal mistake number two, wrong ad placement. Guys, do not advertise on mobile newsfeed first. You only do this when you scale and only if your landing page fits. I know that um, Anthony has an amazing mobile um, landing page done. If you if that's the case, then you can actually advertise with mobile newsfeed. But again, you want to actually test on desktop first before you test on mobile. Next is do not advertise on right column. You only do this when you scale. So you might be thinking, what are right column ads? So when you log into Facebook, go through your newsfeed, on your right, there's always two ads right there. Those ads tend to get a lot lower click-through rate and it's a lot more expensive. So you wanna make sure that you check off this right column ad when you're setting up your campaign. Now you always, always, I cannot stress enough about this, always start with desktop newsfeed first because you're gonna get a much better quality and you also really understand what market is responding to you. So let's say um, you have interest targeting one with a specific demographic that is working right now. If that is working, then why, then instantly, if you clone that into mobile, you're gonna get an instant ROI at the same time and scale your campaign. But if your desktop newsfeed is not working, then most likely the mobile newsfeed will not. And if that's the case, if you start setting up a mobile and desktop newsfeed at the same time, then you're actually gonna be wasting money. You're actually wasting more money for your testing. So guys, start with just desktop newsfeed first. Now mistake number three, you're not stalking your audience. I can see so much irrelevant advertising. It's actually, I was like, wow, these guys are really losing a lot of money and they're not doing their targeting correctly. Guys, you need to stalk your audience. Most advertisers on Facebook are not stalking their audience. Guys, you have to know them like your friends. Understand their behavior and speak directly to them via your ads. You have all the tools within Facebook. I'm gonna show you how to get access into this tool to really know who these people are. It's like you knowing a new friend knowing what they like and don't like, and then speak their language. When that happens, that person's gonna be your friend right away and buy whatever you tell them to do and listen to whatever you say. So it's very important for you to stalk your audience and know them like it is your friend. And at the end of the day, your landing page should also be a, a expanded version of your ad. It should really speak directly to the audience. And when someone clicks on it, your landing page should be an expanded version of your ad. In some cases, you wanna do create custom new landing page just to speak to your new friends. This is very, very important. And I also classify this for more advanced words. I use the word relevancy. You want to create things that are relevant. You know who these people are, you know what their behaviors are. You show them an ad that really speaks to them. And when they click on your ad, it's an extended version of your ad. I see a lot of advertisers that basically have an ad, when I click on it, it goes to a landing page that doesn't make sense. I click on an ad because I'm interested on what the ad is saying. It grabbed my attention. So 
you still have my attention the moment I click on your ad. Now, if I go to your landing page and it's talking about something completely different, that's not gonna happen. I'm gonna exit that right away and you're gonna lose out on a potential customer and prospect right there. So at the end of the day, make sure that your landing page is an expanded version of your ad. Now guys, we're gonna go into part three right now. I'm gonna show you step by step the perfect Facebook ad setup and the number one weapon for cheap clicks. Now that you know three important things that you need to avoid, you need to understand what you need to do in order to avoid account suspension, now it's time to really create your ad campaigns on Facebook. Now here's a real case study with my student actually, a recent student of mine, and one of my students result, he got over 6,400 conversions in a very short amount of time. He spent over around $3 per conversion right now, but <clears throat> he was telling me it was highly profitable. He cannot even imagine how profitable he is, and he's actually going to be spending over $85,000 this month just to really capture all the ROI right away. So the stuff that I'm about to show you guys in the live training is gonna be the same stuff that I'm teaching um, in iPro Academy, which is my course. And guys, at the end of the day, even my students are getting these kind of results, not just me. Now, it's super simple when it comes to Facebook advertising. It's as simple as just one, two, three. Number one, find your ultra-targeted audience and stock them with Facebook's $19 billion investment. All right, I'll show you how to do this in just a moment. Step two, <clears throat> create a relevant ad with free tools. You don't need any technical experience to create your ad. As a matter of fact, you don't need to outsource to Fiverr or outsource to anyone else. You can actually create your own ad. And then I'll show you a free tool on how to do this. Now, number three is obviously create, um, set up your campaign correctly. If you set up your campaign incorrectly, then it's gonna cost you a lot of money, guys. And I'll be showing you how to set up these campaign in just a moment. Now, number one, when you're finding your ultra-targeted audience, First of all, you just wanna brainstorm a list of keywords, uh, public figures, and large corporation brands within your niche. So if you are in personal development, then obviously you wanna go after Bob Proctor, you wanna go after Sonia Riccati, you wanna go after um, personal development keywords, you wanna go after Tony Robbins. So it's always best to go after keywords that is in your niche. You wanna go after public figures. Public figures is actually the best targeting ever, I can tell you that. And next is large corporation brands. You want to really leverage that as much as possible. Once you have your initial list, then Facebook's gonna actually help you find more targeted audience that are similar to what your initial lists are gonna be. Now, I'm just gonna flip over to my browser right now to show you how to use Facebook's multi-billion dollar data pool and how to use this step by step. So I'm just gonna go into here right now. This is just a account purposely done. It's actually my personal development website I'm actually creating. I just didn't have time to create the campaign yet, so I'll create it right now with you guys. And <clears throat> the landing page is basically this, lotmineemotions.com forward slash free book. There's a free book giveaway um, on seven specific tips that really, um, for, for personal development, um, for business success and all those other stuff. So this is my landing page. So this is what tra this is the traffic that I'm actually gonna create a Facebook campaign um, with you guys right now to drive traffic to this landing page. So obviously this is all about success, they're all about money, they're all about business. At the end of the day, I'm just gonna pull this up right now and I can figure out exactly what, what I want. So for keywords, I can go after, um, let's say, um, business success. Um, entrepreneurship, um, I gotta change that up. Uh, yeah, <clears throat> I can go after um, personal development, etc. Now public figures, I can actually go after a lot of stuff like Robert, Robert Kiyosaki. Kiyosaki, which is the author of Rich Dad Poor Dad. So obviously that's a brand. I can go after Rich Dad Poor Dad. Rich Dad Poor Dad. Poor Dad. 
I can go after, not data, sorry, I'm trying to type really fast right now. Uh, I can go after Bob Proctor, etc. So I hope you get my point right now. You, you want to really put on a notepad the initial list of keywords you want to go after. Now next, what you really want to do is basically go over to Facebook, log into your account, and go to Tools, and then Audience Insights. Now when you're here, you can actually go after custom audience if you want, but in our case, we want to go after interest. So in the interest, this is where you want to put your keywords that you just put into your notepad. So in my case, I'm just going to go after Robert Kiyosaki. All right. Robert Kiyosaki. So Robert Kiyosaki right now has 1.5 million to 2 million monthly active users within Facebook. Now, this is just all of United States right now with the range, age, age range of 18 to over 65. So here you can actually see there's actually more female than male on Facebook that actually like Robert Kiyosaki or have something in common that really say they like him, they're interested in him, they're following him, etc. So you can see right now that there's 39% females in the age range of 45 to 54. Now you can see anyone from over, this is pretty amazing, like 35 onwards, it's basically where the market is. Now you can see 61% are female, all right? So obviously they're attracting a lot more female, so more feminine. So you want to go after a little bit more feminine into your ad. Now you can see their lifestyle right here. You can see basically their urban tendons, um, solo stable. So these are really information that you guys can actually hover over this um, I button right here to really know what these all means. This will really allow you to understand your audience. It's a very powerful tool. And guys, Facebook spends so much money. Now, this is a resource from uh, Person ICX. I don't know how to pronounce it properly. So Facebook is not just using their stuff. They're using a lot more other data mining pool to give you all these data. So you can now look at their lifestyle. You can look at their, look at their relationship status. Majority of them are either married or single. And the majority of them, their education level are all college. 70% are at college. So with that being said, you need to use words wisely. You cannot use super um, easy words with these people. Like these people have a high education level. At the same time, majority of these people are obviously business and finance, uh, financial operations, management, etc. Sales is actually surprising, 29%. That's pretty high. So majority of the people that really like Robert Kiyosaki are in sales, management, and business and financial operations. So these are people that really wants to get better in business and all this other stuff. So my landing page, my ad is gonna be perfect for this type of audience. I'm just gonna scroll back up right now and you can actually see page likes. This is very important. This will tell you exactly the people that like Robert Kiyosaki like these categories as well. All right, so this will allow you to really fully understand how your targeting is. As a matter of fact, you can actually start creating different interest campaign now because Facebook is telling you more data. So when you start running a campaign for Robert Kiyosaki, um, sorry, on Robert Kiyosaki's um, interest targeting and it's converting for you, this is where you want it to come to find more targeting outside of Robert Kiyosaki. So you can actually see page likes. So um, Brandon Burchard is actually pretty relevant. It's huge actually. And they have one point, they can actually reach over 1.3 million people through that. So you have Tony Robbins, you have a success uh, magazine, Sig Zegler, etc. So this will allow you to now start expanding and have more keywords based on your initial keywords that you have. Now, next location, usually I'll just tell you to focus on US first before you expand to other countries. If US work, obviously at Canada, UK, United Kingdom, all the English speaking countries. You'll also see activities. So how often these people are um, commenting stuff, um, how often are um, people sharing stuff. So the activity level, the gray stuff is basically people on Facebook. Now there are more um, activities um, by 
from Robert Kiyosaki fans or people that likes Robert Kiyosaki versus the majority population of Facebook. Now you can also see devices actually, it's pretty interesting. You can see what kind of devices people are using and majority of them are actually coming from desktop and mobile, which is typical, we all know that. And um, so this is basically what kind of device they use. Now you can look at household. So what their household income is. This is very important. So majority of the people in the household income are in the, are um, $50,000 plus. So over 50% of them are actually um, between fifty thousand to to two hundred fifty thousand dollars a year. So with that being said, these people are are able to afford more expensive products, and they're also actually their owners of their home more over renters. So sixty six percent are actually renters. Uh, sorry, are actually owners are not renters, and this basically tell you the household size and their home market value, how much their home is actually worth. All right, now this is very important. Spending methods, what they usually use and where they usually spend their money. Now, it's very interesting that majority of the people are spending cash though. So primarily credit card is like 41%, um, but they use any card, they use bank card a lot. Wow, very interesting. So this really tells you more information about your audience right now. Now next, purchase, this is, this is crazy when I found out about this. So retail spending. So 76% are obviously retail spending low. Um, this is basically estimated US retail spending compared to income based on purchase activities. Now online purchases, as you can see, majority of them are medium to high. So that's over 63% right now that are really buying online right now. And you can actually see their behavior. What are they all buying? They're all really buying business purchases. So anything related to business, they're gonna buy. Subscription businesses, which is pretty interesting, so they like subscription stuff. Clothing, food and drink, health and beauty, and pet products. So you know these are pet, <clears throat> pet. they love pet. Um, Etc. But obviously, majority of the population of Facebook is actually forty percent. So as you can see right now, majority of them they care about clothing. So they like new clothing. They do a lot of business purchase. So you can also see what they are in market for for a vehicle. So you can see um, sports and convertible, luxury sedan, um, medium sized car, etc. Now, if you guys start dissecting these data at even more complex than I do. I'm just briefly showing you guys right now, but I'm already showing you a lot of data about Robert Kiyosaki's people. You now know that majority of the people that are that are Robert Kiyosaki that you want to target for Robert Kiyosaki are women. Women with college degree that spends money, a lot of um, business purchase they do online, their household income is high. So obviously this is the, one of the best audience you wanted to go after. So guys, again, this audience insight, it's superbly important. You always wanna use this to really understand your market and then advertise a specific message to them that will gain their interest and grab their attention to go to a landing page that is relevant, that is exactly the expanded version of your ad to acquire for a sale or for a lead. So I'm gonna go back right now, so I hope you guys now fully understand how to use this multi-billion dollar data pool, it's very important that you do so. Now next, you wanna create a superbly simple image ad. Your image ad is actually the most critical. These stuff right here, the text, these are all supporting stuff. At the end of the day, when, a, when you are advertising on Facebook, the audience looks at the image first. That's the first thing they look at. So you want to have something that grabs their attention, all right? Now I'm gonna actually flip over to my browser right now to show you how to use a free tool to create the image for your ads. So the website I use is called canva.com. So I'm just gonna log in right now and please don't email my email address and swamp me with spam or add me to your email list. So just canva.com. Now once you've signed up, you want to create a custom dimension. Now Facebook, recommends you to use a specific size, which is 1,200 
by two, uh, 628 pixel. This will allow you to have the maximum space for your ad. Now when you're in here, it's very, very simple guys. You wanna have first find an image. So we're running to here. So I'm just gonna be looking for a image on Google to see how things work. And I'm just gonna put like success wallpaper, see what comes up. Now I always use the word wallpaper um, and when I obviously go to images, I usually use the word wallpaper because wallpaper are usually big in size. So it's easier for you to really make a big ass size. 1,200 pixel by 628 is actually very, very, very big. So you want to find images that is relevant to what you're saying. Try to find ones that doesn't have text on it. Because if you're able to find ones that doesn't have text on it, you can actually put text on top of it. So that is very, very important. I'm not seeing any nice ones. Let me go to business success wallpaper and see what there is. Ah, so I like this one. One core strategy. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is just right click, save image, oops, save image as, and then I'm just gonna save it into my download called um, Mind Emotion um, Test Ad right now so I can remember what it is. Um, and then simply, yeah, I'm just gonna use this ad right now. So now I'm just gonna go to canva.com, go back right here, and I go to uploads. And in uploads, I just have to click on here, upload your own images. And then here is the ad. Now, once it's up here, all you have to do is drag it over here. Now, this white space is basically your ad size. So what I'm actually gonna do is, I don't want this text. I'm just gonna make this bigger remove this text and I just have my nice light bulb. Now obviously you don't just want a light bulb because the light bulb is not gonna talk about anything. So you want to overlay some a text on top of this. All right, so all you have to do is go to text, go to add heading, drag it over. And here I'm gonna be basically saying free um, discover, I'm just gonna make something up for my ad and I'm gonna make this all the way big. Discover the seven key drivers. Uh, I would say, you know what? I'm just gonna say free download on, oh, these are women. So we're going after Robert Kiyosaki. So if we're going after Robert Kiyosaki, obviously we wanna talk about something similar. So I would say um, um, free Okay, seven key drivers for business success. There you go. All right. <clears throat> so now that I have this completed, all I have to do right now is just click on download as an image. And then all it is is doing right now is just downloading this image. I'm just going to wait for it. And I have my images right here right now. So now I can actually just upload this image when I create my Facebook ad. Now, before we do so, one super important thing that you have to make sure is to use this tool. Go to www.facebook.com forward slash ads forward slash tools forward slash text underscore overlay. In any image ad, <clears throat> you have to, whenever you put any text overlay, so this is called text overlay, having text on top of your image, it cannot be more than 20% of the image. So you really wanna use this free tool by um, Facebook to make sure that you are having text that's under 20%. If it's more than 20%, your ad will get disapproved immediately. And the more ads that you got disapproved, obviously the more chances that your account will get suspended. So all you have to do is just upload the ad right here and you can see right now, these are the boxes. So one, two, three, four, five, obviously, because if I move this up, there's enough space. So it's only 20% right now. So as long as your text is only within five boxes, that is gonna be fine. So this is gonna be compliant. This is absolutely fine. I don't have to worry about it. So if you have like text that is like, oops, oops. Like this is right now is 36%, right? You remove this 20%, so right now adding this 24%. So even if it's over 24%, there's a high chance that your ad will get disapproved. And again, the more ads you get disapproved in your campaign, um, in your account, the, um, 
the more likely your account is going to get suspended. So make sure you use this grid tool, guys. So next, we're actually going to go right ahead and create ads. All right, I'm just hitting here. And I always use increased conversions on your website. And here, I'm just going to put go back here, copy this URL, paste it right here. All right, then choose a conversion. So obviously, I don't have any conversion installed yet, so i got to create one. And I'm going after leads. So I want whatever you put here is Facebook will help you optimize your campaign based on whatever conversion you put. All right. So make sure that you copy this conversion pixel. All right. Into your confirmation page, your thank you page. And next, continue. Campaign name can be like that. Then next, right here. <clears throat> Obviously, we're going after United States, and I don't want anyone in the 18. Usually, whatever I do my advertising campaign, I will do at least 25 plus. That way, these people are actually able to afford anything. Anyone that's in the age of 18 to 24, they have a credit card, but they're not going to really buy anything. Now, next is language. So language, always go after English all. You don't, some people, like some Chinese, um, Korean, Japanese, or other ethnic group that speaks a different language will still like Robert Kiyosaki. However, their language is not that fluent in English, so your ad and your landing page and your sales funnel, they're not going to go through it. So you want to make sure that their primary language is English. All right, this is very, very, very important. Now, next, I'm just going to go after Robert Kiyosaki. Click right here. Then you'll see I can reach over 1.6 million people now. Now all these, you don't have to worry about it. The next, see, you can actually just do $5 a day. So you don't have to worry about anything. Leave all these blank. You can see that show advanced options, but don't worry about these. Just let Facebook do its job. They have something called OCPM and OCPC, which is optimized um, cost per click and optimized CPM. They'll help you bid as long as you hit your CPA number, then just let Facebook do all its work. They've built a multi-billion dollar technology. Let the technology do the work for you guys, all right? Next is select an image. And I'm just going to upload the image that we have right here. See right here, recommended image size always gonna be 1,200 by 628. Now you always have to make sure you put on the X here to remove whatever image that Facebook was trying to read and go and use the one that you have uploaded. So I'm just going to change this right now to my page, my emotions. All right. So right here, now you want to create your headline. Your headline is basically this text right here. Whenever you use the headline, I would put a call to action right in this place because this is bolded and is a lot bigger. So I will put download this free book now or download this free book all right i'm just gonna let it update and here this text all right this text is basically the post text right here this you can actually put more information you would want to treat this as your sub headline so whatever is supplementing to um your offer and what you have to offer so here you i, can, I like this free um, I like to tend to do this. Free book. And I'll put um, discover. You see right now, the ads make a thing. Yeah, I don't have to worry about that for now. You know what? I'm just going to play by your rule. Free book reviews reviews sorry reviews to a ceo dot 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 here you go now next obviously this is very important you want to choose a button right now obviously i want you can either do learn more or sign up or download i'm just going to put download obviously i want people to download my book oh, i just found out that i have a spelling mistake right here I'll fix that afterward and then show advanced options this is very important you want to put text right under here so um 
discover you want to put oh, it depends on what you want to put right here i will usually put more of what the offer is about as we like discover the seven key drivers to success download for free right now all right then this text is going to show up right over here all right it's very simple ad now don't go ahead and start placing your order you want to remove mobile newsfeed and remove desktop right column you just want to go after desktop newsfeed then next all you do is just place your order and that's it then you want to start letting your ads run and start getting information and getting traffic to your website to understand what is going on so I'm just gonna go back to my presentation so now guys i'm going to since you guys found out exactly how to do it now for some advanced market right now i'm going to expose a hidden weapon within facebook that can get you traffic for pennies on the dollar and skyrocket the quality of your traffic guys this is a hidden secret and i call this the look-alike on steroids so what this is is that look-alike is simply letting Facebook find a much larger and untapped audience that shares the same interest as your best customer. So in Facebook, if you have an email list right now that are either buyers or that are potential prospect, you can actually export that list and upload it into Facebook. And Facebook will actually find those users for you in Facebook. So they will match it by email address an IP address and say, okay, um, this list, here are the people that we can find on Facebook. Now, what you can actually do next is get Facebook to run lookalike. So you're simply letting Facebook's multi-billion dollar technology to do the work for you. What they'll do is they will look at your initial audience, the one that you either uploaded, and really see what they're interests are who they are what do they like what do you like to do what is their behavior and etc etc then what facebook will do is they will go into their 1.49 billion active users and go like okay who are the people that are similar to what your initial audience are of what your buyers are or whatever email list you put up then they're going to start looking for those when they start looking for those they're going to go like okay here's the look alike audience that we found based on our data mining pool these are the people that are most relevant to what you have initially given us. Then simply set up an advertising campaign on there. But guys, again, the initial custom audience is critical. If you have a buyer list, that's gonna be the best list ever, all right? Now for those of you who doesn't have a buyer list, you can do something called lookalike on conversion pixel. This is basically what I call lookalike on steroids. I'm taking lookalike to a complete new level. So what this is, is that remember when I was creating my advertising campaign? When I was creating my advertising campaign, there are basically a specific conversion pixel that I need to put. Now for that conversion pixel, once Facebook start firing the conversion pixel from their advertising, because the entire funnel from getting your audience to clicking on your ad, to making that specific conversion is within Facebook. So Facebook has all of the data about your initial audience. Now at the same time, what it does is that the more conversions you get, the more data Facebook is getting. Now there's one specific thing in Facebook that they're doing in the back end that you may not know of is that Facebook lookalike, they will keep updating their lookalike on a daily basis based on your initial audience. So if you are just to upload a buyer's list, that cannot get up, um, updated all the time because they are they only have one set of data that they can look at. But conversion pixel is different because you're constantly pumping new people into your conversion pixel. So there are more data in your conversion pixel than your lookalike audience will keep updating based on that conversion pixel. So that will give you a buffer. So when you start advertising into outside market, you will always have a buffer of people that you know that will still convert for you because they're people that are similar to who will give you their money or who will get who will opt into your list. This is absolutely very, very important. So guys, again, 
when you are ready, do look alike based on conversion pixel. This is the best tip that I can give you. And guys, I've been scaling my campaign from left, right, and center by just using this strategy. And this is a really a hidden strategy that not a lot of people know about. And I hope that you're you're able to start taking advantage of this. Now, guys, again, thank you, everyone. And most importantly, guys, be sure to come prepare for our next live training happening with Anthony next Thursday. Um, Anthony, is there anything you want to um, hop in and talk about? Well, you know, uh, Fred, I, I want to uh, first. I want to address with with everyone, and, and guys, we're going to give away the, the two hundred and fifty dollars. I know that um, that we, you know, we haven't mentioned it a whole lot on on the training tonight, but I really wanted to be focused. Uh, you know, on Fred and what he was sharing with you, because I do feel like there was a ton of information in this training tonight um, that can help you. How many of you feel like there was a lot of information in this training tonight that's going to help you generate the traffic to build your list, things that you did not even know exist? Just say yes in the chat box for me. Good deal. All right. I'm seeing a lot of you say yes. Very good. You know, I always like to double check because, you know, Fred, as much as we love you, <laughs> I want to make sure that uh, that my students love you too, you know, and so I, I, I do my best to uh, to find the best of the best and, and, and bring them on here. And it, it looks like from the response that I'm getting from everybody uh, that I guess you, you got an A. Uh, how about everybody, give me a grade uh, on this presentation. Just, you know, A, B, C, D, F, right? Just like uh, just like in, in college and high school, whatever. How many of you would, uh, what would you what would you grade this? Just put, put a letter in the chat box for me. All right. Okay, so I'm seeing nothing but nothing but A's. In fact, so many, I guess the, the chat just froze up on me. <laughs> oh, well, that, that's, good, that's good news because I want to make sure, obviously, that, that my students are enjoying and learning and, you know, when they spend their time with us on Thursday nights, that they're getting something from it. And, guys, I knew you would because I'd already been talking to Fred. We've Skyped a lot this week, and I asked him a lot of questions and made him give me a lot of answers. So I know that he knows what he's talking about. In fact, like I said, he knows so much that, I'm going to see if he can actually work with me on building some campaigns for my business. Um, and so I knew that this would be a, a really good training for you. Um, you know, next week, Fred's going to come on and he's actually going to talk about Google. Now, you know, we haven't talked anything at all about Google. I don't do any advertising on Google. Um, you know, I stick really to, to Facebook because, well, that's what my brother knows. And, and, you know, my brother is doing, you know, insane numbers on, on Facebook every single day. And so I've kind of got like a little Facebook genius here with me. And, and of course, now I've connected with Fred. So between two Facebook geniuses, I think I'm going to be doing pretty good. But, you know, we I have not done Google. And some of the stuff that Fred showed me about Google and, and kind of a hidden network within Google uh, that literally he's using to generate traffic for, you know, 20 cents it's going to blow your mind. It's something I have never seen, and I'm willing to bet none of you have ever seen it. So it's an absolutely phenomenal opportunity to see and learn about this hidden network, to see how you can get really inexpensive clicks. He's also going to show you five mistakes that you need to avoid when you're marketing on Google. These are five mistakes that cost people money. These are, five, these are the five mistakes that are the difference between successful and basically failure, right? Success and failure. And it's all about these five mistakes. So he's going to literally walk you through uh, setting up a campaign on Google and show you exactly what you need to avoid in order to be successful. How many of you are excited about learning how to do this? How many of you are excited about being here next week and listening to what Fred has to say about now being able to also leverage Google to build your email list. Just say yes in the chat box for me. Very, very good. All right. Looks like a lot of people. And I also want to mention something to you because this was really key. You know, Fred said that he was willing to work with me on building ca traffic campaigns for me. Um, I, I asked him about this on, on Skype, and he said, absolutely, I'll, I'll work with you. So I said, listen, if you're willing to work with me, are you willing to work with my students? How many of you would love to have Fred work with you on building your campaigns? Just say yes in the chat box. Fred, it looks like you could be very busy, my friend. <laughs> Thank <laughs> I'm you. I'm seeing a, a, a lot of people that would love to have your help. Well, here's the deal. Next week, Fred's going to actually show you how you can work with him 
on building your campaigns. So it's going to be a phenomenal session. You don't want to miss it. The replay, you know, I know we send you replays, but the replays will not offer that opportunity. It is only for those that actually attend the live training. So make sure that you mark your calendar. Do not miss next Thursday night. Same place, same time. You have to be here. Fred's going to go through this entire Google process with you. He's going to show you step by step what you need to do. And then he's going to show you how he can actually build your campaigns for you, work with you on them, which is a second to none offer. I've never even seen anybody do that before, but I'm sure you guys can tell uh, Fred is just ridiculously smart. And that's what's so great about the freaking internet is you don't have to be 40, 50, 60, 70 years old to have acquired all this knowledge to be able to give something back to the community. You can be, I mean, Fred, if you don't mind me asking, because I don't even, how old are you? I just turned 27, actually. Okay, 27 years old. So I'm sure all of you are sitting there thinking, what in the world? At 27 years old, he's doing millions of dollars in revenue. He's a young guy. I mean, gosh, he's even young compared to me. You're five years younger than me. I mean, it's crazy. But that's what the Internet provides us. It provides anybody opportunity. It doesn't matter how old you are. It doesn't matter how young you are. It doesn't matter where you come from, what your family life is like, what your, you know, where you went to school, if you didn't go to school. None of that matters. As long as you're willing to put in the time and effort, as long as you're willing to listen and learn, and as long as you're willing to connect with successful people, people like Fred, you have an opportunity to have massive success. So that's, that's my plea to you tonight. Make sure that you don't miss this next week. This is a 27-year-old kid that's doing millions and millions of dollars on the Internet, and he's willing to sit down just like he did tonight, take time out of his day, and share it with you, all because I asked him to do me a favor and to do a favor for my students. So, Fred, I want to thank you again for your time, and I also want to really quickly announce our $250 winner for tonight is Carol Johnson. So, Carol Johnson... You are the $250 winner uh, for tonight's training. I'll be sending you an email, and we'll get your information. Everybody, please say congrats to Carol. Woohoo! Congrats. Uh, Fred, congratulating, Carol. Very good. Very good. I'm seeing a lot of you. You know, look, this is a fun way to end the night. It's always a fun way to end our trainings, but it's also a way to ethically bribe you to do what's best for you. Show up to our weekly trainings. Listen, learn, and, of course, we're going to do our very best to help you have massive success. So again, next week, same place, same time, part two with a 27-year-old making millions of dollars on the internet who's willing to sit down and show you exactly how it's done. Fred, thank you so much for being here, man. Well, thank you for having me. So I'll see you guys next week and be sure to be here, guys. You don't want to miss this. All right, guys. We'll see you soon. Bye now.